Hey there and welcome back. Nowadays, taking and sharing photos have become a big part of our lives, but sometimes the photos we take, well, they need a little something extra to make them look amazing. And that's what photo editing is for. Now, I'm not an editing expert, but I still want my photos to look good. So a friend suggested that I try out in Pixio Photo Editor. And so I did. And after using it for quite some time, I start to edit my photos like a pro. Now, while it's not perfect and I'd like some things to be improved, my experience with Pixio Pixio has been excellent. It provides advanced features in a way that complete beginners can benefit from. So today I'm going to explore how well in Pixio really works and if it's really worth it or not. So let's begin. And by the way, if at any point throughout this video, you want to give in Pixio a try for yourself, then you can benefit from a discount in the description down below. All right, now, when you open in Pixio Photo Studio, the first thing you'll notice is the fresh and modern interface. So the home screen is simple, giving you easy access to all the editing tools, plus the main editing option, like erase objects, replace sky, remove background, photo merge, and edit photos are nearly placed in the left-hand toolbar, making the program beginner-friendly and easy to understand. Now, one feature that I really liked is the Intelligence Erase Object Tool. Nell helps you remove unwanted objects from your photo, such as people or birds in the sky. And there are two options, an automated AI tool or a manual tool. Now the AI option does a decent job, but for more control, you can go with the manual one. It allows you to manually edit out anything out of the frame, for example, a photo bomb or any object that you don't want to be in the photo. And it does a wonderful job but I use the AI version more often since it's a way more convenient. Now, another handy tool is the Remove Background AI, and it's perfect for creating photo montage or changing your subject's background. Just upload your photo and the AI technology will automatically remove the background. And while sometimes it might struggle with poorly defined backgrounds, it usually does a great job. Okay, now let's talk about the Replace Sky tool. Now, it's one of my favorite tools because sky replacement can completely transform the landscape photos and in Pixio Photo Studio has improved this feature significantly. So you get a bunch of preset sky templates like blue, sunset, and stony ones, and you can experiment with different, well, atmospheres. Plus the AI masking is quite accurate and it usually selects the sky correctly. But what's really impressive is the control control it gives you. So you can fine tune the sky by adjusting the temperature and scale. Plus it also gives you the ability to change the foreground color adaption to make a seamless blend between the foreground and the new sky. Now it is important to mention here that sometimes it might struggle to match the foreground with the new sky and you might need to tweak the edge to avoid weird shadows. But overall, it's a fantastic tool. Next, let's talk about the photo merge tool. Now it lets you insert people on objects from one photo into another and you'll find a range of preset templates including covers and cards. You can also add tags, graphics and more to create unique colleges. So it's perfect for making marketing materials or just having a creative blast. Now let's explore the basic editing tools and see how how well they work. So in Pixio Photo Studio provides essential editing options to improve your photo's basic quality. You'll find options like auto AI, crop temperature, exposure, shadows, highlights, contrast, saturation, clarity, sharpness, and noise reduction. Now the editor layout is super easy to work with and you do have decent control when editing your images. Just keep in mind that it may not offer every single slider, but it's worth mentioning that it supports raw files, including formats like CR3, as well as common formats like JPEG, PNG, and BMP, so this can be useful if you shoot in RAW. Now, overall, playing with these features of Pixio Photo Studio is an amazing experience. Now, listen, it's a simple and fun photo editing software, perfect for beginners and hobbyists who want a quick result without dealing with complex tools. Okay, let's talk about performance. Now, one thing I really like about Pixio is that you don't need a supercomputer to run it smoothly. The system requirements for Pixio Photo Studio are pretty basic, so an Intel Core 
i3 processor or better, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 2 gigabytes of free storage space. And most laptops these days have 16 gigabytes of RAM and decent processors, so you shouldn't have any issues running it. The software loads up quickly, and once you have your photo in there, it runs smoothly. Plus, there are no annoying lags or delays when you're working on your edits. But listen, there might be a slight delay when using some of the more intense AI tools. For example, the Replace Sky tool might take a few seconds to analyze the photo and create a mask of your sky. But once that's done, it's smooth editing all the way through. All right. What about previews? Well, when you're working on your photos, you can choose between different preview layouts to compare your edits. So there's a single view, vertical side by side, vertical split view, horizontal side by side, and horizontal split view. This is really handy to see the before and after results of your edits. But there's one limitation in the split view preview that's a bit frustrating. You can move the photos or the slider that separates them. So if you choose the vertical split view, the slider sits right in the center of the image and you can only see the right hand half of the edited photo. But overall, the previews are very useful when looking at two images side by side. And lastly, let's briefly discuss what in Pixio cost. Well, compared to other software in the market that offers similar features in Pixio, it's very affordable. So you can get it just for around two bucks for 14 days and extend it for a year for just around $60. Plus, they also offer a 30 day money back guarantee, so you can cancel anytime you feel. Now, to wrap it up, there aren't that many services that offer advanced features in a user friendly manner, and in Pixio is one of them. Now, there might be some limitations to it as discussed, but for people who want to use professional tools in an easy way, Impixio is a great option. My experience using it has been great, and I'd recommend it to anyone who is new to editing or wants a tool that can change their photo in an instant. And that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, like and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And remember, if you want to check out Impixio, then check the links in the description down below for discounts off your purchase. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.